They have the ability to carry the most powerful weapons the United States has to offer, with a destructive force so terrifying that their mere presence is a weapon. To find out how the U.S. Air Force uses strategic bombers to deter any would-be adversary, watch the newest episode of Blue, now streaming on YouTube at youtube.com. They have the ability to carry the most powerful weapons the United States has to offer, with a destructive force so terrifying that their mere presence is a weapon. To find out how the U.S. Air Force uses strategic bombers to deter any would-be adversary, watch the newest episode of Blue, now streaming on YouTube at U
Several units from Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson took an unprecedented number of F-22 Raptors, along with personnel for Exercise Patriot Grizzly, to Marine Corps Air Station Miramar near San Diego. So this is the first time that anybody's ever heard of it being done in terms of the F-22. It's the first time that they've had 16 jets travel from one location to another. We brought 16 jets to uh, Miramar here, and that is, uh, that's a lot. And flying uh, basically 22 flights out of the squadron per day, um, that's a lot of flights, especially for us in the winter time. And you go from dealing with zero degree temperatures to now it's 60 degrees and it's humid and wet. Uh, these jets react a lot differently to different weather conditions. Most of the things that we've come across have been uh, solvable, but it's good for the teamwork aspect. We're here working with a lot of different organizations. I think it really helps the whole joint warfighter mentality. Getting jets, equipment, and personnel from Alaska to the coast of California is certainly a feat. But the main purpose of this mission is to get those jets in the air to attack or to defend. So that's going to be offensive counter air and deep is going to be trying to attack whatever that is that we're protecting. Offensive counter air, so we're going to try to escort some strike packages to try to attack a target on the ground. And uh, that is great that we have the F-18s here as well because that is uh, one of their missions. And so we'll get to work together uh, to do that. Exercise Patriot Grizzly is a month long, and this is the first one. But the from Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, I'm Tech Sergeant John. Similar combat training is really, it's exactly what it sounds like. See a steady increase in fifth generation aircraft across Europe. Whether it's rotational aircraft stopping by for a few weeks like the F-22 Raptors, or permanently assigned F-35 Lightnings at RAF Marham and other future operating locations across Europe to include here at Lake Inhaven to secure the sovereign skies above. The days of a single service or single nation going it alone are likely over. The name of the game today is Joint, Coalition, Alliance, multi-domain. The more we train with our brothers and sisters from the other services and partner nations, the more ready we will be to own the skies and strike a will across the spectrum of conflict. This is our group's contribution to global